it's frigid and cold on our homestead. At our movie theater we recently purchased, we're playing A Man Called Otto for the final weekend. And we're going to do something a little different on our channel. The name of the channel is Homestead How Learn With Us. And at the end of every episode going forward, we're going to tell you what we learned this week. And we're going to share that with you. Maybe you can learn from it too. This week, we take our Amish friend, William, on a car ride. We tell him about the theater and tell him about this funny Amish movie. And you got to see his reaction. Morning! Look at that, honey. It's almost 4.45. You must overslept. And William gets a big kick out of this story. Taking care of the horses and just getting completely overworked, not realizing. Just the way he was laughing when you described it. He was cracking up. He was laughing more than I laughed during the movie. Oh, it's going back. <laughs> If you're new to our channel, thanks for stopping by. We're a family of six living in central Wisconsin. Been homesteading here for about seven years, and a couple months ago, my wife and my girls and I purchased our beloved small town movie theater. So we go between our homestead and our movie theater, and this is going to be a fun episode for you today. That's always good exercise, and we need a lot of kindling for our indoor wood burner. We have an indoor wood burner. It's, this will heat everything up, but it's really nice and cozy firing up the indoor wood burner. You can hear that little sizzling. That means our wood isn't seasoned enough, which is my fault. Here comes Baxter. What are you doing? We've gone through our whole wood pile here, and this was all seasoned. I think it was two years old. Snow's coming off here. It's kind of cool. This stuff is really well seasoned too, frozen together, but give it a couple whacks with the sledgehammer and it comes right out. Man, that one doesn't want to come off. I want that one. More for the price of one. Ha <laughs> I win. You can hear that buzzing right now. That's because our door opened and I need to oil it. See there's a little door right there? That opens to let air in to heat the fire back up. And I need to oil it, or you just go like this. Works every time. It's Saturday morning on the homestead, and we have two private parties at Montello Theater, world famous Montello Theater. And then we have our seven o'clock showing. One thing on the homestead that's pretty fun right now for us is having chickens and having farm fresh eggs. Farm fresh eggs are way better than eggs you get in the store, but with all the egg prices going crazy right now, it's nice to have farm fresh eggs. I'm gonna let the chickens out here. I've had comments over the years when we first started homesteading, when we came from the city, why would you get chickens? You can go to all these and get them for 80 cents a dozen. Well, we never did it because of the money, although it is nice to be self-sustainable. Main reason we got chickens is Peace of mind, being self-sustainable, if the grid ever goes down or whatever, we've got a great source of free protein. But also, the chickens are great because in the summertime they eat all of the ticks and the bugs. And they're really entertaining, they're really hard workers. And now with egg prices going crazy, it's kind of nice to have them. The main reason is the eggs just taste a hundred times better than what you get at the store. Look at this guy. You guys freezing? Alyssa's coming out to give them water. We have to do it by hand, because it's frozen. That's Pumpkin. I'm not sure who he is. He's been here for six years now. The only problem with the chickens are they lay eggs all over the yard and it's an Easter egg hunt, so sometimes we lose out on them. What's that one called? 
So it's finally really cold out. It's like 11 degrees. And when it gets down to that temperature on the homestead, I'm always worried about our pipes freezing. We had one of them freeze for our upstairs rental. So I'm going to go upstairs and make sure it's not frozen. We actually ordered some more wood, some split stuff, so we could have it for indoor or outdoor. But I've got all of this wood, and I've got all of this wood, and there's a big, big one down there. And I have a whole bunch of dead, fallen trees I still have yet to take down. But I am looking forward to summer getting those boys out too. Heading up to the Airbnb rental. Hello? Hello? Here's our Airbnb rental if you've never seen it. A little dark in here right now. We have the little video game room over here. My favorite room with this classic arcade. I made this on our CNC machine. This has 1500 arcade games on it. I have a little Nintendo over here, some bunk beds, nice little desk in the corner. Huge beanbag thing, that's pretty cool. I guess I've been liking that. Oh, the moment of truth. Ooh, it's working, but that seems a little bit slow. Oh, please work. Boop. Oh, thank goodness. So I'm gonna let this drip. Keep this open. This is a pretty cool sink. We actually upgraded our one downstairs. This is a workstation sink. So you can dry stuff and leave it in here. And there's a cutting board that goes on here too. I think it's down there, but there's a cutting board. And then it has this little rinse rack down here. So nothing's frozen. Now we have to head to the movie theater. We got two private parties and Jen's probably wondering what the heck's taking me so long. Montello movie theater, world famous, and this is what happens when I let my wife order food. We've got, we've got, we've got oh. popcorn containers. That's kind of exciting. We've got bug juice. Uh -huh. And don't forget, we've got six cans of country sausage gravy. Why would you order country I sausage gravy? Oh my god. Oh, it's going back. <laughs> we are heading to our Amish friend's house. We carpool with them. Well, we don't really carpool. We have been in their horse and buggy. He taught me to drive their horse and buggy. This happens. Jeez. Oh, Carrie, where are you going? That was a really, really fun project, and we did a whole video on that. Uh, but I, I always tell him, hey, we're heading out to Menards. We go right past your house. If you need a ride, let us know. He took us up on it. One of the most valuable things in life is gaining wisdom. And I don't know anyone wiser than my friend William here. He is full of wisdom. And every time I talk, I'm like, wow, I didn't think about it that way. Or maybe we should be focusing more on this instead of this. So. So Jen and myself just picked up our friend William. I'm here driving in the left seat. William is in the right seat. And we were talking about the movie theater and the history of the building that dates back to 1859 and the fact that it's very much like an Amish household nowadays when it started. Of course, back in 1859, there was no electricity. The building was lit with gas lanterns. The building was heated with wood heat. Very much how William operates in today at his house. So that was pretty cool. But of course, William has never seen a movie or a TV show, which just blows my mind because movies and TV shows have been such a big part of our lives, especially now that we own the theater. And I started telling him about a particular movie that's uh, really old. It's over 20 years old. It's called For Richer or Poor with Tim Allen. And it's about an English guy and an Amish family. Looking for a place to hide. Surprise! I'm so relieved you're here. We could really use the extra help. Morning! Look at that, honey, it's almost 4.45, you must overslap! So it's always fun talking to William, he's such a joyful person. So I was telling him about this movie, and that it's a rich couple. They end up out in the country living with an Amish family. They go from working in the city at office jobs, very rich, to living in the country with the Amish and having to go plow the fields and wake up early, and William got a big kick out of this. So he escapes and they go out and they, he's hiding from the clubs. And they, they, he's kind of they, they take him into the Amish house and uh, 
Now he has to go from his office job to milking the cow and taking care of the horses and just getting completely overworked, not realizing what real work is because he's used to typing on a computer. The most funny scene in that movie is when uh, Jim, they haven't plowed the field. <laughs> he's just going all over the place and making a big mess of it. So I apologize, the audio is a little hard to hear, but William was cracking up, just really laughing a lot about this story about this Amish movie. So really funny. He got a kick out of it. It's always so much fun talking to William. He's full of wisdom. And we invited him over next weekend. We're having a brat party. I know that sounds kind of weird, but we've done it a couple of years at our house. We have this big meat grinder and everyone will bring some meat over. We'll provide the spices and we'll make up a whole bunch of brats. Kind of popular here in Wisconsin. We'll do different recipes. Last year we did over 100. And uh, William seemed very interested in that, so I'm waiting to hear back from him, and maybe we'll have him over for that as well. But I've done several videos with William and his family and his full permission, and uh, we did ice harvesting, which was amazing. He taught me to ride a horse and buggy. And so I'll leave a link in the description below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I think you will find those videos very interesting. Get yourself some Amish friends, right? And if that's not possible, because obviously it's not possible for everybody, get yourself some joyful friends people that have joy surround yourself with people that have joy make more friends with people that are joyful because there's just something about it it's contagious the more positive happy people you surround yourself with the more positive and happy you will end up being they're joyful and they're wise those are people that i seek out to surround myself with people that are joyful and that are wise and boy would it be fun just to watch uh, for richer or poorer with with william wouldn't it just the way he was laughing when you described he it. He was well. cracking up. He was laughing more than I laughed during the movie. Part of that is joyful. He does laugh a lot, but he was really laughing when I was telling him about that movie. So that was pretty funny. Jen did something. She posted posted something on a Facebook group and it went nuts about renting the movie theater. So if yeah, people want to rent the movie theater for a birthday party or whatever. Yeah, birthday party. A corporation came yesterday with a couple of people and... You know, if you just want to watch a movie, somebody's coming on Monday for a birthday party, just two people. I mean, we'll accommodate you for whatever you want to do. So we charge $125 for two hours, and you can bring as many people as you'd like, and it's a closed party, and since it's your own private party, you can bring your own Netflix account, HBO, we've got full streaming set up. You can watch Disney if you have a Disney account. Um, or you can bring an Xbox or PlayStation and you can play video games. Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the movies. Hello? Let's all go to the movies. What are you pointing at? Oh, coming soon to Montello Theater this summer. Indiana Jones, Ant-Man. Got some good movies coming up, looking forward to it. But right now, Jen and I got to get ready for our private party showing. I'm going to have to make up a whole bunch of popcorn. We got a birthday party coming in for a private party and my sweet wife decided to go out and get them some uh, balloons, just as a little added extra because they're there's some great people we want to have a, want them to have a good time and I also found this on YouTube it's a little happy birthday loop that plays so when they come in we could also have uh, we'll have some happy birthday music playing here on our Alexa time to make some popcorn number one heat number two mixer number three heat lamp number four is the W can anyone guess what the W is the W hit hit is that the W is the warming bed. This actually heats up and keeps the popcorn nice and warm. Back at the theater, we had a busy day on Saturday. We had two private parties and we agreed to make up 40 boxes of popcorn for the school dance that our girls are going to and Emma arranged. So we're getting all of that ready and doing that as we're preparing for our movie at seven o'clock. One of our perks of owning the movie theater is we're 
close to downtown and there's so many great places including, I think we mentioned them before, Oyster Crackers. Just a short walk down the road. And I, I, I wanted Oyster Crackers so bad so they ruined my diet. But look at this food. I got a turkey with bacon. Potato salad's amazing and I said this before but sorry to my mother, they make the best homemade soups anywhere. It's so good. Just finished up my amazing lunch from Oyster Crackers. I always like to give credit where credit is due and I do a lot of stuff with businesses. Obviously we've talked about it in the past. We have our vacation rental, we have our dog kennel, now we have the movie theater, we do YouTube videos for our business. And we got our Amazon business, lots of little side projects. So I'm always interested in business people and what they're doing. And I'm just amazed at so many great small businesses in Montello in a small town. We talked about Charlotte's Rendezvous is great, Yahoo's is really good. Oyster Crackers, I mentioned before, I just had lunch with them again. And being that you're in a small town and you're starting a business, that's really risky. Being that you're in a small town and you're starting a restaurant or food business, that's hugely risky. If you look at the stats on those, so many of those fail. And then that you're in a small town, Montel's got 1,500 people or so, you're kind of downtown, you don't have like a drive through or anything like that, people gotta come inside. All of those things against them, and they're absolutely knocking it out of the park. Again, I just, I, I always like to give credit where credit is due, and they got one heck of an operation there. Food is amazing, lines of people, customer service is excellent, but the food is so good. Like, how could they be doing any better of a job under those circumstances? They couldn't. They got a huge menu, the prices are fair, the customer service is good, and you're in a small town and you're just knocking it out of the park. So, I just want to say big, big shout out and props to the team at Oyster Crackers, really, really impressive, really, really good. It's really a uh, blessing that we live in a small town with so many great businesses, not just Oyster Crackers, so many other ones too. So the name of our channel is Homestead How Learn With Us. We'll be switching back and forth between the homestead and the movie theater, whatever we think is most interesting or whatever we'll learn the most from. What I learned this week, I always like to recap for myself and for my family. Part of the reason I do these videos is it's just great memories I'm going to be able to look on. Hopefully when I'm an old man like Otto and uh, have some fond memories of the girls and the family when we were younger on this great adventure running the movie theater. So what I learned this week was it's great and important to surround yourself with positive, joyful people like our friend William. Uh, he's such a great guy and every time we spend time with him, it's contagious and we become more positive and better people because of it. So I'm always uh, telling my girls that surround yourself with good, wise, positive people. It'll really pay off in the long run. The other thing I learned is small business is hard. We run several small businesses and we got to stick together, us small businesses. And as you are watching this as a consumer, when you go into a business, try to think about it from another perspective or with a different lens of how hard that must be, the amount of risk, the amount of work, and everything that goes into those small businesses. I'm always out to support those places. I'd rather go to a little restaurant or diner than a fast food chain or a, a large supermarket. The last thing I wanted to do was thank everybody for coming out to Montello Theater. This was the third weekend we played A Man Called Otto, and we just can't believe there's still people coming out after three weekends in such a small town. We had a huge day again on Saturday, huge day again on Sunday as well. A couple people coming two, three times, and people we've never met before. So thank you so much for supporting the theater. Next weekend we'll be playing 80 for Brady, which looks really, really funny. It's actually based on a true story about a group of ladies. They're actually called the Over 80 for Brady Club. So I'm on the news the other day, so it looks like a really fun one, and we will be playing that next weekend. And we'll have the showtimes for that listed on Facebook and the website. Thanks a lot for watching. Here's some of our favorite photos we took on and around our homestead and movie theater this week.
Jen and I are almost back at the homestead, but in conclusion, what did we learn from today's episode? The name of the channel is Homestead How. Learn with us. Here's what I think we can teach you in today's episode. Get yourself some Amish friends, right? And if that's not possible, because obviously it's not possible for everybody, get yourself some joyful friends. People that have joy, surround yourself with people that have joy. Make more friends with people that are joyful because there's just something about it. It's contagious. The more positive, happy people you surround yourself with, the more positive and happy you will end up being. They're joyful and they're wise. Those are people that I seek out to surround myself with, people that are joyful and that are wise. And boy, would it be fun just to watch uh, For Richer or Poorer with, with William, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh. Just the way he was laughing when you described He was cracking up. <laughs> he was laughing more than I laughed during the movie. <laughs> Part of that is joyful, he does laugh a lot, but he was really laughing when I was telling him about that movie, so that was pretty funny. Thanks a lot for watching. Here are some of our favorite photographs we took on and around our homestead and movie theater this week. Doo -doo 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 -doo.